Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam, and today we are going to talk about very sensitive topic which is nothing but coronavirus. Exactly. Now this COVID has impacted a huge amount of people and it is spreading everywhere. I don't have to explain the situation, it's already worse. Still, we'll just quickly have a look at World Health Organization's dashboard where if you hover on India, it says one crore, 87 lakh people have been confirmed as COVID positive and two lakh death rate. It's a very high number. And because of this, everywhere there's lockdown in India. And because of lockdown, it is impacting our economical situation highly. Now this economical crisis is soon going to impact India very badly in future. And to avoid that, we have to keep working. We have to keep, everybody has to keep their shops open. Everyone has to keep working so that to maintain the economy. But this is not happening right now. Right now, everybody is under lockdown. Everybody is sitting in their houses, keeping their businesses shut and nothing is happening right now just to control the cases. And the most impact is on the normal people or the middle class people where they have small stores or they have supermarket stores where there are grocery stores and these stores are closed just because of lockdown or the strict lockdown rules. And because of that, even people are not getting edibles, people are not getting groceries and the store owners are suffering a huge economical crisis. But what if we can put a little bit of governance on top of the stores and maintain the, the social distancing rules, the social distancing regulations where government is also happy, we are happy, everyone is happy. It's a win-win situation for all of us. Now for such regulations and for such rules, we have to keep such rules and we have to follow it very strictly. But who is going to governance on top of each and every store? Now in such case, I have came up with a small idea where we can integrate AI center of UiPath. We can integrate AI and RPA together and we can work on a situation where each and every shop will have a CCTV camera, which covers the pretty much all area or complete area of the shop. And then our AI model will help us identify the number of people standing inside the shop currently. So here are the couple of images. So for example, there are six stores of one vendor and each store has different owner. This particular store has right now one person standing inside the store. So I can identify that this is the CCTV footage where there's only one person. So these images I have captured from Google randomly. So uh, these are not the actual stores, but yes, these are the sample images. So there's one person who is standing inside the store. Then there are multiple people right here. So there are so many people without wearing masks standing in this particular store. Then there are only four people right here in this store. And then the, so the list goes on. Now, if we can count number of people in each store and help our governor or help our government to monitor on top of each and every store and maintain the regulation. For example, the threshold of maximum people allowed in one store at the same moment, including the counter person is five. Okay, just consider this is five. More than five people are not allowed in one store at the same moment. Now, if this is the rule, then I have designed a bot with the help of UiPath Studio and UiPath AI Center, which helps us keep, which helps us monitor the situation and which helps us send the warning messages if number of people exceeds in a particular store. Now let's go ahead and let's run the bot. So this is the robot which I have created, which integrates with UiPath's AI Center. Now I'm running the bot. Let's go ahead and look at what's happening right now. So let me show you the output folder is empty currently. Uh, as soon as bot starts running, bot will start going through each and every store. Now in each store, I have a list of store with the store code, the name of the store owner and the email of the store owner. Now for the first store, there's only one person standing here and bot has detected that store 101 contains one number of people. That means only one person is there right now inside the store. So I will simply click on okay. Now there, in this store, rules have not been broken. And you can see in the output image, bot has identified that this is a person. And also you can identify that this is a car which is identified outside the store. Now bot has identified this person and that's why bot has skipped and not have sent and warning email. However, in store number two, contains 14 number of people 
and warning email has been sent to Srishti, who is the owner of store 1002. Now, who is Srishti? So here we have our data where we have all the emails of each and all the store codes across matching with the name of the store owner with the email. So for now, I have kept this as my personal email to show you that how this actually works. Now, what I will simply do is I will simply click on OK. Now for the store number two, bot has identified that there are more than 14. So there are total 14 people right here standing. And that is the, the regulation. So here the rule, rule is completely broken. And that's why an email with a warning message has been sent to the owner. Now let's look at the email. So I will quickly refresh. And here's the email. So this email says, number of people in store 1002 exceeded. Hi, Srishti, who is the owner of the store. According to the person counter machine learning robot, the limit of uh, number of person in store has exceeded. And has also bot has also attached an image of the store for the reference so that this warning message has been sent by government. Now for the store number three, let's go back to store number three. There are only four people detected here. So that is not, a, that is not it's not breaking the rule. So that's fine. Bot will still move ahead with the fifth image. Sorry, fourth store, the store number four. Now let's look at store number four. So three stores have been processed till now. Now in the store number four, again, there are more than, yes, as you can see, store 1004 contains six number of people. Warning email has been sent to Jolly, who is the owner of store number 1004. So this is the store where there are more than five people, obviously. And the email has been sent to the owner of this particular shop. Let me refresh and in some time this email will appear here. Also for the store number five, bot has detected that store number five contains 10 number of people. Let's go ahead and let's look at in the meantime where email is loading. So there are too many people right here in this store and they're also not wearing masks. So it is completely breaking rule. Uh, so bot will definitely send a warning email to Aniket who is the owner of the store number 1005. So let's go and let's refresh our email. So there are, the email is coming up a little bit late, that's fine. But we are still getting all the data right here in front of us in the output folder. And then store number 1006 contains only one person and bot stops here. So bot took complete time to go through the CCTV footage of or CCTV screenshot of each and every store and there's only one person right here, so it's fine. Now bot will keep on doing this based on the frequency that you decide. So if you want to keep this frequency half an hourly or one hourly, or how do you want to keep it? Bot will keep on monitoring the CCTV and bot will keep on capturing how many number of people are there in the store and they are not breaking the rule. If the rule is broken immediately and warning email will be sent to the owner. Now this data is captured right from the store emails. And this is how this bot exactly works. Now with this, we can also monitor the number of people. Now you can see here, the second email is also received to uh, Jolly, who was the owner of the store number 1004, along with the image of the store number 1004. And the fifth image for the store number five to Aniket is also sent along with the number of people where the bot has already identified and predicted number of people. So this will totally capture, this will identify the number of people in store if it is breaking the rule, uh, if there are maximum number of people in the store and it's completely, uh, you know, rule, rules and regulation break then it will definitely send a warning email. This will help us to keep monitoring, to keep regulations on top of each and every store, along with keeping our stores open, which helps people also, and which doesn't impact small and middle-class people's business. So that's all was the idea of this whole concept where I have used for this, for building this particular robot, I have used for AI capability, I have used UiPath AI Center, where I did not even have to create this entire machine learning model from scratch in Python, no. I just have to reutilize already pre-built solution. And that's what I did right here. I used pre-built object detection solution from UiPath AI Center. I integrated it with my UiPath workflow and it worked really smooth, really awesome as you have already seen. And it has given a pretty much accurate response. So with this, we will call out the session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy automation. And let me know if you like this use case, if you want to see how this bot exactly works. So I hope, this video reaches more than 10,000 views. Thanks a lot and have a great weekend.